So on this journey that uh, I've been on for some time now, I've uh, been at this for 14 years. I've had a lot of ups, I've had a lot of downs. One thing that the desire to be successful for me has done is often I ride these waves of just a positive a positive mindset for sometimes weeks, months at a time. And for myself, what I end up doing is I overload myself. And maybe you do this too. You keep trying to be so positive. You try to block out everything that's bad. And eventually, things over time build up. And when they build up, you reach a breaking point. And this happened for me this week. You know, um, as you know, I'm, I'm a custodian at a local high school. That's how I earn a paycheck while I'm working on my writing and my speaking career. And I've got an easy job. I've got to be honest. I, I have an easy job, you know, and I'm grateful that I get paid for this simple job. Um, I work with two other people. And although I work with two other people, we have our own areas of the school. Um, I'm sorry, I've got notifications coming on my phone from people that I've been talking to this evening. Um, but we work in our own areas, so we don't really see each other a lot. So basically, I'm on my own. I love it because I get to listen to my motivational speeches. You know, Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, Steve Harvey, Gary Vaynerchuk. T.D. Jakes, you know, people like that. I love it. But, just like with any job, it has its stresses. You know, people that maybe don't pull their weight. Situations where people aren't appreciative of what I do. And communications that break down when they shouldn't, you know. And then when you add, um, you know, I'm also a single father. I've been divorced. I've I've divorced twice, and that comes with just everyday baggage, especially when you have children with someone, and you know you've got to try to find a balance with all of all of that in a civil, polite, and positive manner, and you know because you want to keep, you know you want to try to stay on a good good base with everybody, and so you add that into the work, and even though my job is great, things add up. So to get to what I was talking about, whatever it is you do, even if your job is more stressful than mine, because mine is pretty simplistic, for me, things add up. And what happens is, eventually, they add up so much that it feels like a monkey on my back. And it may feel the same for you, or like you're carrying a brick or just a heavy blanket wrapped around you. And eventually, what I notice is, I really start acting different. I don't seem as chipper. I don't seem as outgoing. I don't seem as polite. I get a little more edgy. And what usually happens is I have I have to stop at some point. And what happens is I usually I end up forcing myself forward because it's, I'm grinding. You know, I'm making it work. I make myself sick. And that happened today. As I was working closer to going to work, I literally had so much weight on my back. I literally, about two hours before it was time to go into work, man, I started getting sick. I started getting just really drained and nauseous and dizzy. And my body just literally said, we're shutting down, we're rebooting. You're going to do this. So I called in and I said, you know, I'm not going to be there. I'm not feeling well, you know, which anytime I've done that has been 100% truth. I do not condone lying to your workplace. But I crawled back into bed, which is something I don't ever do because you're not going to succeed if, you, if you're sleeping. But you've also you got to have that balance of you've got to listen to your body. You know, I know that there's... Those who say certain amount of sleep grind the rest of the time. And I totally believe that. But your body is what is keeping you going. What's, what's doing those speeches? Your mouth. Your mouth's connected to your body. 
What's writing that book? Your hands. Your hands are connected to your body. What's getting you in shape by doing exercises? Your body. You know, what's getting dressed and looking stylish and successful? Your body. If you're not taking care of your body, there's no point for success. Because if you can't take care of yourself, how can you motivate or be successful in the outer world? So I crashed. And through all of this, I woke up uh, a few times. Uh, people that I've been talking to today, some great motivational people, some coaches, uh, some business partners that I've just started with. And uh, through all that positive reinforcement, uh, towards the end of the day, I woke up finally. I got up, you know, and I felt refreshed. I felt refreshed to the point that I was able to take in some some videos that some business associates had me watching. Uh, I spent the whole afternoon, or I should say the whole afternoon, the whole evening, uh, talking with a life coach and uh, getting some insight from her. And through it all, what I want to say is there's times that you're going to have to metaphorically crash you can't it's like a surfer you can't ride the wave indefinitely part of success part of learning part of growing not just as a children's book author and a speaker like I am but whatever your passion is in life it's okay to fall it's okay to have a day where you lay in bed I don't care what anybody says it's okay if you're laying in bed simply to get that body recharged, you're not laying in bed because, oh, I just don't want to get up or, oh, I just don't feel like it. But, I mean, if your body is literally crashing because you're just going and going and going, you've got to take care of that vehicle because we only get one body in that one life. And don't listen to anybody else. If you've got to go to bed to get another five or six hours of sleep, shut everything off. Close the door and just recharge the battery. Do it. Get up and go at it again. I mean, it's later in the evening for me, but uh, I did that and now, God, I feel, I feel a lot better. You know, I feel more motivated. And from some lessons that, sort of for some, from insight that I've gotten today, I've gotten a better look on some things I want to do as far as reaching out to schools to speak. And as far as working on that part of my career so still nervous still a little spooked a little afraid but those are good things and you can only take those things on when your body is in a peak state if your body's not in a peak state if it's overloaded if it's got that monkey on its back you're pulling dead weight you got to take care of the body too so that's what I've done today um, you know it wasn't easy to call into work. I don't very seldom ever do it, but uh, the worse I got to feeling, it had to be done because I needed that downtime. I needed to get a good shower and get into bed and just recharge the batteries so that I can go back tomorrow and I can give 100%. So as I get off here, know that it's okay. Don't let anybody put you down if you have a time where you fall down just keep going you're gonna have you're gonna ride the wave you're going to be successful but take care of the body too so my call to you to, before I leave is what are you doing to take care of your body you know are you getting enough sleep and are you eating the right things are you exercising I have a son I have an old son that's a freshman in high school we go run together and that's something not only do we get that father-son bonding, but it's showing him an awesome perspective to have at an age when I wish I had that perspective when I was 14, 15. So what are you doing? Think about what you're doing. If you're giving yourself a hard time for crashing or trying to respect your body, quit. Use that focus to drive yourself towards where you want, but don't use it to keep yourself from respecting your own body. Your body's what's going to get you there. What are you doing with it? So that's uh, WTS for tonight. Tomorrow, get up, working towards being a successful speaker, working towards being a successful children's author. We're going to get at it. Later.